There's been a new development in the suspected murder of a man whose remains were found in a burnt-out car. Today, police turned their attention to a house in Perth's southern suburbs. The victim was burnt beyond recognition. Police say they still haven't been able to identify him. A family home in Seville Grove now at the centre of a murder investigation. Police were led to the home on Pode Street after human remains were found in the boot of a burnt-out car in Hilbert. Neighbours told Nine News that car belongs to a man who lives here with his partner and baby daughter. The police door knocked us one enough. We seen anything between the hours of 7 p.m. and 1 a.m. and just put two and two together and saw the car on the news last night and realised that something pretty terrible had happened. Today, forensic police scoured the front lawn. They searched for clues inside the home and spent hours combing the driveway and marking out potential evidence. I can't go into detail as to the reason why the address is, is of relevance. Um, it forms part of our investigation and, and that's all I can say. Police have a fair idea who the victim is, but can't say for sure. The body found inside the boot of the car was so badly burnt, they'll need to look at dental records to identify them. Major crime detectives are currently looking at security vision taken from a neighbour's camera. They hope it may help them work out exactly what happened here on Thursday night. It's obviously at very early stages um, and uh, there's a number of lines of inquiry that we're conducting to ascertain who the offenders are for this incident. This is the Ford Falcon XR6 that was found burnt out. Police want to speak to anyone who may have seen it between 6.30 and midnight on Thursday. It has a distinct chameleon-coloured paint job. Scott Cunningham, Nine News.